How's everybody doing today? I hope you're doing great. This is Brandon Gibson. I'm the owner of the Genesis Social Media Platform, the All-American News Network, and Genesis Enterprises here in lovely Branson, Missouri. I hope everybody's doing well. Kind of wanted to introduce myself. I am a very direct person, and I'd love to interact with everybody on the site. Kind of give you an outline of what Genesis Social Media is. Genesis Social Media is everything that Facebook is not. And according to some of my sources, Facebook has lost almost 1.2 million users over the last two years. Let's give an example of what we're referring to on Facebook. Facebook loves to censor their users. You can't say this, but you can say this. But we won't allow you to say this. And your freedom of speech, your rights on the U.S. Constitution, no longer supported because your First Amendment, First Constitution, we don't support that. You're not allowed to say what you want. And in fact, Mark Zuckerberg has the mentality. I own Facebook. Everybody in the world has Facebook. Therefore, I am God and I own the world. That's how he thinks, and that's how he runs his platform. Genesis Social Media is a non-profit. I don't plan to make money on this, and I can prove it. Facebook offered me, one, uh, I think it was $31 million. Yeah, $31 million last November. And I refuse to sell out to a corrupt individual who tells people how they can and can't be. So that being said, I got a friend of mine named Dave, and this it turned out to be the perfect example for what we stand for. I went downstairs one day. He's a maintenance guy in the building I live in. Okay, I'm the, I work IT for a hotel, for several hotels. We're an IT company. We handle all the network security and stuff for them. And Dave is one of the maintenance guys who fixes rooms and just does general maintenance around the building. He goes, hey, didn't you create a website that take competing with Facebook? And I said, yeah. He goes, well, I want to know what it is because Facebook put me in jail again. I said, what happened? He goes, some Black Lives Matter guy uh, posted on Facebook that he was going to start killing white people. So Dave replied, okay, that I'm going to start killing black people. Facebook is okay with the fact that he's talking about killing white people but the second you reply about killing black people the other way around it's apparently against the rules see the difference is on Genesis social media I don't give a crap what color your skin is nobody should be talking about killing anybody because it ain't black lives matters it's all lives matters and last time I checked Jesus didn't discriminate neither should you people so that's a perfect example of why I built Genesis Social Media, because I am a discriminated Facebook user. You're a discriminated Facebook user. And I realize that we can't take Facebook out, but the biggest way we can take them on is to take them one user at a time. As long as Facebook is censoring you, you're never going to be free. You can fight them all day long, but you won't win. But when you get on Genesis Social Media, as long as you're not threatening to kill people or breaking the law, say what you want. If somebody is insulted by what you say, that's what the block button is for. If they harass you, that's what the block button is for. Report crimes, obviously, and most of all, report them to the police, because that's who handles all this stuff, not me. Sure, I can lock somebody out, but i got to have a legitimate reason to do so. And not to mention, we never steal your personal information, we never track your access or your location, we never gather data for resale to corporate and we never sell your information to anyone. The only time we ever give out your personal information is when a law enforcement agency comes and says, hey, we need specific info off your site for a court subpoena so we can use it in court. They have to hand me a subpoena. And it can't just be site-wide subpoena because that, that doesn't make any sense. They have to do it per person. It has to be related to a specific case. I won't sell your personal info for gain. Facebook did not get that big by doing advertising. They got that big so quick because the government started buying personal information from them the same way they did Google. Google got huge because they sold information and tracking to the government. It's the only way you get super rich super quick and I'm not rich. Hell, I'm a veteran. I live off my VA benefits and what work I get in my business. I don't plan to get rich off Genesis Social Media and I don't want to be rich because rich, greed, and money is at the root of all of it. 
that all being said, I kind of wanted to give everybody on here a little idea who we're working with. And we're already up to 20,000 users. And for you guys being on there, I love you. I thank you for being on there. And I'm glad that I'm able to provide a platform for you to be able to get on and do it. Say whatever the hell you want to say. Just get on there and fucking speak away, man. Your First Amendment and your Second Amendment is promoted on Genesis Social Media. I don't care what side of the country you're in or what part of the world you're in. As long as you're on Genesis Social Media, you're free to say what you want whenever you want. As long as it ain't a law, a, a law or you're threatening to kill somebody or you're breaking the law, if you can get arrested for it, don't freaking do it. Use common sense, man, because that's, that's important. But, hey, I'll have fun. If you all have any questions, go ahead and message me. I'll be more than happy to carry on a conversation with you. Just treat me like another user. Forget the fact that I built a site or I own it. Just be yourself, man. Guys, have a good one, and God bless.